down on the start line for MX1 qualifying race. Gautier, it's great to see you back. How's everything feeling? Obviously, a bit of a mad last couple of weeks. Yeah, it was pretty difficult, you know, to, to be from first uh, on the ground and then uh, doesn't remember nothing. Uh, was pretty tough, but still I had really good people around me. My girlfriend, all the team was behind and um, we were strong. I was in hospital for, for a few days and, and then uh, been back uh, safe, uh, walking step by step. And I'm, I'm here. It's the third, day for, the third day for me on the bike. I'm coming here only to do some laps and, and to have fun. And it's what I'm doing. So everything is fine for me today. Well, best of luck out there this weekend. Nice to see you back again. And we're going to also have a word with Sean Simpson. Sean, in Lockett, you saw motocross from a new angle, I believe. Yeah, I think I started enjoying it again. I mean, I got a couple of good starts. I was riding well in the first one, and then, uh, yeah, there was a move put on me, which, you know, wasn't really that great. But anyway, I don't want to speak too much about that. I got back up and managed to, to have two good motos that day and a, a good overall. Let's see if I can uh, get some better starts here and uh, some better finishes and hopefully uh, top eight overall, something like that for this weekend in Belgium would be nice. Enjoy the rest of your season. And we're going to have a word with one more rider. We're going to have a word with Jeremy. Jeremy, I'm going to interrupt your conversation. Um, we'll talk about Lockett because a similar thing happened to you as Jose Patron in the MX2 class. First moto, you had a crash, broke the bike. Second race, it was your first top three result in the MX1 class, so a mixed bag. Yeah, you know, it was a good weekend, but a bad weekend also, because uh, I had a problem with the front brake, uh, it was stuck, you know. I couldn't get it loose, uh, so yeah, DNF first moto, and uh, yeah, second moto, I just did well, my best, you know, my best riding, and it uh, was a good feeling. Uh, I did great last year in MX2 also, and uh, I liked that track, so it was a good weekend, and I hope I can continue on that line. We've got three rounds left. Are you going to be the first MX1 rookie to get an overall this year? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see tomorrow. You know, it's my home uh, GP and uh, feeling good. But uh, yeah, it's possible. Why not? Thank you. Enjoy it out there today. Right, let's see the MX1 qualifying race. Tony Cairoli was fastest in the time session at the pre qualifying with uh, Bob Chef and DeSal close behind. but. Who would it be that would come good in the qualifying race itself? Gautier Paulland back from that injury that he picked up in Germany about three weekends ago. Everyone would be interested to see how he would perform here at Bastogne today. For the gate drop, Tommy Searle had a good start down the inside, but it was Tony Cairoli who grabbed the hole shot. And Tommy Searle eventually would go missing about three corners later. Good aerial shot from the drone. Tony Cairoli, a clear hole shot. Winner through that first turn, down past pit lane. And just behind them, Tomoda Sal on the Suzuki. Tommy Searle there in third place at that moment. But it was over on this part of the racetrack that Tommy Searle went missing. Didn't bother this guy too much though. Number 222, Tony Cairoli, who can go for his seventh world title this weekend. All he has to do is score 10 more points than the guy behind him. Number 25, Clamanda Sal, who's running his home Grand Prix this weekend. Don't forget, Bob Shelf on the Honda World Motocross machine, 777, had a good start. He was in third place as the rest of the riders came charging through. Joel Rulox, though, only lasted a lap. He went down over on the far side of the circuit and would not complete the first lap. Tony Cairoli was trying to pull away from Commander Sal, who was being kept honest by the 777 Honda World Motocross rider of Genny Bobashev. Van Horbig was in fourth place. If you're wondering who the number four was, Sebastian Porcel back this weekend for the rest of the season on the Ice One Racing KTM because uh, no Xavier Borg, no Ruhr Gonsalves. They've also got Ludwig Soderberg in for them as well this weekend. Tony Cairoli, though, was pretty faultless on what was a very dry, slick and tricky racetrack. Completely different to what we had a year ago when it rained during the Saturday proceedings. Kenny Bobashev, though, fresh from his podium. Third overall in the Czech Republic. Two weekends ago was looking solid in third place. Jeremy Van Horbeek was also looking good in fourth place. Kenny Dijker put on a charge as well. He started in seventh, got up to fifth, but Van Horbeek and the rest were just too far ahead of him. And he had to settle for that fifth place. Gertje Paulin, back from injury, started outside the top 10 on the opening lap. Eventually found his way into sixth, but couldn't do anything to close down. The Red Bull KTM 
of Kendadaika, Tommy Searle. Outside the top 15, after starting second, after that fall on the opening lap, got himself into 12th, that's where he would stay as well, so he's going to be uh, just outside the top 10 when he goes to the gate. But Tony Cairoli, though, was in good form, and he's the one that has the advantage going to the line tomorrow. It was Cairoli to sell and Bombashev. Tony, well done on winning this qualifying race. Obviously, a big weekend. There's a potential here that you can wrap up the title. Are you thinking about that at all? Yeah, for sure. I'm uh, fully motivated to, to to win both races. That's my goal. And uh, I know Clement is very fast on this track. He's on GP. And uh, it's going to be hard to take the title if he finish uh, always on top like this. But uh, I will do my best. I, I, I cannot do more than uh, win two, G, two races and uh, see what he does. And uh, hopefully my teammate can come true also. And uh, let's make it happen. We look forward to seeing how it plays out tomorrow.